Uh, you left much. Mm-hmm. Why? What was behind well, that? Or much was going through some changes, and like you know, I'd been there four and a half years, right? And so, mm-hmm. and there's other things that I wanted to do too, right? So it just seemed like the perfect time for us to kind of shake hands and high five each other and say, you know, it's been a good time. So we kind of did that. Yeah, it just seemed like a good time to to, to make that switch. You know what I mean? Um, they. Uh, they're doing a lot of different things. I think, you know, I know they're working on a new show, they're bringing in new hosts and stuff, and they're kind of trying to have like a whole new image for Much Music, as far as I'm, as far as I understand. Mm-hmm. Um, but also like, and I just wanted to, there's a lot of things I wanted to do. And so like, sometimes, you know how you say sometimes to yourself, like, oh, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have like, you know, maybe even tried, you know, karate. Or I wish I would have like, for me, for example, I've got a lot of things I like to do. Um, and I've, I've tried my hand at pretty much everything. Like, I, I've i done a lot of stuff, and I love that. And I kind of mm-hmm. want to do more stuff, you know what I mean? And so by... Uh, it's hard to explain how, how I was feeling about things. I was like... I don't know. I want to do more, you know what I mean? Like, I want to... Mm-hmm. Like a do more as far as television. Like I want to continue to do television, but also like I want to really make television that matters. Not to say that what I did at Much didn't, but I want to say like I just want to really like really do something big, you know, and impactful, and like something that can you know help change you know lives of at least like you know a couple people, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But um, but also like I've got so many things that I, I like doing and I never get to do. So like it's it's cool now that I have the opportunity to to do those things and. You know, I've got like a whole bunch of different things I'm working on and show pitches and stuff like that, and half of them probably won't work out. Maybe even none of them will work out. Who knows? But like, I've got, um, you know, I love working on cars. I love doing this stuff. I love driving cars. I love racing cars. Like, you know, I love doing all kinds of things like that. Um, And so, like, it's like, think about what you're most passionate about. Like, I don't know whether it's like, you know, economics. I'm sorry, we're sitting in front of economics. That's like the first thing (laughs) I can think of. That's the thing you choose now. so anyway, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't know, but like, pursuing all those things. Like, that's why, like, when I say, like, none of these shows might work out, none of these pitches might work out, none of these things I'm working on might work out, but I kind of hope they all do, so I get to do all those different things, you yeah. know? I don't know, it's it's weird. But the split was the split was good. I mean, you know, it wasn't a bad thing. Okay, so then, yeah, what have you been doing since then? Like, do you have, have you just... I've been working on my electric car. Oh yeah, nice. awesome, right? <laughs> I'm building an electric car, which is pretty cool. Um, so I've been working on that a lot lately. I've been working on it for the past like three years, and I've got oh, more okay. done in the past couple months than I have in those three years because I finally had time to do it, right? Yeah. So I've been working on that. I've been, I've been, um, you know, going to a lot of meetings and stuff like that, and, and, and meeting with my lawyer a bunch, and doing all that like business stuff, which is just mm-hmm. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say I don't like my lawyer and my the, my team that I'm working with, but like I just you know like I don't know I I just part of me just wants to sell everything I have and just like <laughs> go and travel the world and yeah. do all that stuff right. So I just don't think I'm grown up enough to to sometimes sit through meetings and to go through all this like business stuff right. Mm. But it's important. So I've been doing a lot of meetings. I've been um, you know doing a lot of that stuff. I've been doing a lot of appearances. Oh, okay. You know, like, uh, here and there, somebody says, okay, can you, like, you know, show up here and do this? And, you know, one of them was actually, like, I got to go um, and do an appearance for BF Goodrich at, uh, oh. at, a, at a drifting competition. Oh. And it was unbelievable. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's so cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, like, you know, that stuff, it's cool. Because like, I couldn't really do that stuff before, but now I can. Yeah, now you have, like, more time. And yeah. That's awesome. And, and, mm-hmm. sorry, I forgot to say that I've been just, um... I've been putting videos on YouTube as well, ah, just for fun. I mean, like yeah. it just started off like, man, I need to start uploading my YouTube channel. Like, I never used to. Like I uploaded mm-hmm. it like back a couple months ago. I put a couple videos on here and there, but then I was like, you know, I should actually start like updating it more often and just like putting like vlogs, like you know what I mean, like you know, yeah. video blogs, like just kind of like putting my life online a bit. And um, there's the reception's been pretty good so far. It's just like I'm just kind of I'm just doing it for fun though, like just to have a little fun with it and. And also just something to do in the meantime before I get back into television. Yeah. And um, it's been a lot of fun. I actually think that YouTube is, like, amazing. It's, it's only five years old, okay? Mm-hmm. It's only five years old, and look what it's done for some people's lives. Look what it's already done to, like, you know, television industry. Television, like, I'm, there will always be TV because there's always going to be people. And 
everybody at some point is lazy and just wants to sit there and not move and just flick a button on a controller, right? Yeah. So there's always going to be TV, but TV is going to get hurt more and more and more by the internet because the internet, like, everything is available on there and it keeps on evolving and YouTube is only five years old and look what it's done already. And now people are able to work from home making their yeah. own TV Mm -hmm. And it gets better views than what some stuff does on, on actual television. The most embarrassing moment on camera? Oh, I don't know. Come <laughs> on. Everything I did there was an embarrassment. I like, okay, the Borat bathing suit. That was one of them. Um, dressing up as a ballerina for Halloween. That one have been one of them. Um, I don't know. What else? I'm trying to think of something that really like embarrassed me, like getting caught off guard and embarrassed. But I don't know. See, I was always so self-deprecating that it didn't really matter. Um, <laughs> oh, and walking around a speedo in the dead of winter, that was another one. Uh. And that, see, it's, it's, it's some of those things that are so hard to do, but then when you do them, like, you, you're, it's funny that you did it. Mm -hmm. Like, the Bora bathing suit, it's like when you're getting that thing on, you know you're going to walk out in public like that, you like, there's a feeling that you're just like, oh my goodness, am I actually going to do this? It's so embarrassing. But then, like, you just own it and laugh at yourself. Oh, and there's another one I wore. Um, they tried to put me in, like, a girl's bathing suit, but they couldn't find a girl's... No, they tried to put me in a Speedo, but they couldn't find one. This was hot and wet one year. Mm -hmm. So... They put me in a girl's bathing suit, but a girl's bathing suit bottoms does not fit a guy properly at all. So, like, it was just a bad situation. And then I had this little miniature tank top on, Trevor Boris took me around on the beach, and it was just, oh, yeah. yeah, it was not cool. If you could choose one word to describe yourself, what would it be? Um, Happy-go-lucky isn't really a one word, is it? I guess a phrase. It's kind of like a, that. it's a descriptive term. <laughs> The scripted term, that works. <laughs> I'll say outgoing. 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 Okay. Um, have you had any crazy fan encounters or yes. what's the craziest thing that's um, happened? This one dude tries to contact me under multiple aliases and uh, it's very creepy. Um, and there's because, a guy. Yeah, and I mean like, and that doesn't, you know, like necessarily freak me out so much, but, you know what I mean? But like, it's just the way he does it and, and, the, and the, what he tries to get out of me. Um, there's another one where uh, one of the crazy dudes on show, like on Queen Street attacked me oh my like, God. on live television. Um, that was that was something. Um, I've had a couple weird fan encounters like that, but the, for the most part, everyone's pretty chill mm -hmm. and like pretty cool. Even the ones that scream and freak out and run at me, and I don't know whether they're gonna jump on me or like whether you know what I mean. So I don't know. How, yeah. Like think about it. If somebody screamed and ran towards you, what is your thoughts? <laughs> Like, oh my Run. gosh, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like, what do I do? But like, I understand though, like, because, you know. Yeah. If I, I was a kid, if I was like, you know, back in high school and I saw Blink-22, I'd probably be like, I'd probably act like a moron, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd look back on it being like, man, I'm so stupid. You know? Not to say that I think badly of any of the people that have screamed and ran at me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm like so appreciative of it, but it's just, you know, it's... But when it starts, when, the, when you know what I mean, for the first time, you're like, it takes some getting used to. I mean, like before, when I first started at Much, it was like, I didn't know anybody in the city, right? So when somebody called my name, I expected to be like, oh, like I'm gonna bump, it. like you know what I mean, like goes through your head thinking like it must be somebody like, I know. Yeah. You turn around, and it's not. It's like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I guess it's you know like TV, right? right? So mm -hmm. it's it's weird, but it took some getting used to.